Hello guys, today we learn how to import data from multiple Excel file to SQL Server using an SQL Server Integration Services SSIS. For this you have required SQL Server Data Tool for Visual Studio 2015 or SQL Server Data Tool for Visual Studio 2019 and one SQL Server instance and also we need multiple Excel file with the same field name with the same directory. So you can see here there is Excel file, three Excel files and one SQL servers. In this scenario data will be transferred from multiple file Excel file to SQL server. Let us see this Excel file is the same directory like employee attendance. Also need one day uh, decision tables where data will be transferred. So you can see there is one destination table employee attendance where employee id employee name branch attendance state status primary here you can see there is one company and there is their employee for daily attendance they will put in a uh, server and when they put a sql server instance will be transfer that data into a sql server for showing the employee status of their attendance so let us see what will be uh, step need to follow to achieve this first we need to data flow talks then double click on it and you will get control flow talks where you can add data source and destination connection manager and configure it and mapping it after that configurations we need to add for each loop container because there is multiple files so we need each loop each loop container and then configure its source and file and directory file also need to add to two variables for excel file path and directory and when you will run the application data will be transferred successfully here you can see the screen like for each loop and data flow task in data flow task there is excel source and overlay david source and in bottom you can see there is a variables in variable excel file path you can see your full path you have to mention it and for file directory also i have put a full, full path directory now let us start with real example open visual studio go to file new project name of this project you can mention like import data from multiple excel c and click on ok. so you can see here our one package dtx will be created here and package part there is control flow now first step is add to data flow task go to toolbox here you are in control flow and after control flow you have add data flow task click double click on it here data flow talks will be added in design now you need to double click on data flow talk so you will get here like data flow talks and add to here data source and distribution source our data source is excel file and distribution is sql for oledb so let us go to toolbox in toolbox other source you can here mention excel source so i put excel source also need to add destination source you can see other destination here i put mention oledb destination click on oled you connection and this will come here now need to link this excel source to oledb destinations now I need to configure the Excel source and OLEDB source. First, we here configure Excel source. Double click on Excel data source. Click on new Excel file path. Need to mention go to browse. And your Excel file path is here. Like you can choose any one of them. Like I have chosen branch A and click OK. Also, see what is the data in the this excel sheet open branch a excel sheet you can see here employee id employee name branch attendance date and status 
so there is three rows same way other branch have also their attendance employee attendance also see there three employees also there in third branch also there is three employees and their attendance and and their status like present and absence so i have three excel sheet with employee attendance now need to configure so i have put here select a branch a i have select only one file later we will understand how data will be transferred from multiple first we need to configure one excel sheet and click on okay in table we need to select sheet one also you can check the preview so here you can see preview in columns you can see name player id employee name branch and attendance date and click okay so our excel source has been configured now go to oledb destination connection and try to configure it i have double click on it oledb connections check on new click on new so need to put here server name what will be server name means your computer names your server name or ip address you can put here so i configuring with local machine so i put my computer name and put here sql server authentications username sa and password whatever you have password you can put here need to stretch and select the database i have need to select a simple database and check whether connection is established or not click on test connections and test connection succeeded and click on ok button ok and also need to select a name of the table or view uh, you can new i have already table so you, you can check employee attendance or using new you can create new ones now you need to map from excel to destination click on mapping so after clicking on mapping you can see all the tables are tables column which mapped one to one like employee id employee name branch tenant and status click on ok so our configuration will be done from one excel file to destination file let us see this will data will be transfer or not first check now click on start so you can see here our data will be transferred from excel to destination and three rows will be transferred now check on the tables and execute this one you can see there is three row now truncate this table so i have delete all the record and you can check there is no data now so here our main aim to transfer from multiple sheets so for multiple sheet we need to add for each container so stop this debugging systems and you can hear data flow talks and data flow talks also i have need one for each loop container so this for each loop container search all the excel sheet and transfer data data from one by one i put here excel sheet for each loop container for each loop container i have to drag and drop in this loop container so it will connect to one by one excel sheet and transfer the row now i have need to configure for each loop container so click on double and you can see here for each loop container go to collection in collection go to expression first need to create a variable then we configure it i right click and add a variables first need to variable which variables so you can see here data flow talks and excel file path and file directory for need to configure need to put file directory so where our file is reside we need to full path of full directory path like user hp desktop test employee attendance and here in excel file path we need to put one excel file name like branch a dot excel so i added excel file path and file directory as a variable 
now i go to next step control flow and here click double click click on for each loop containers here you can see for each loop container go to collection in collections here each expression click on expression and go to property in property there is directory in directory here you can choose file directory emulate expression and click on ok and click on ok go to variable mapping here you can see user excel file path click on this and you can see user excel file was select a variable to map the collection value zero index here is expression so need to click on ok button so here our for which loop container has been configured now click on start so you can see here data will be, this package will run successfully and my, we hope data will also transfer from excel to sql let us see open sql server and execute this query select stuff from employee attendance and click on execute you can see here nine rows will be inserted first three rows from excel branch one second three rows are branch b and third rows from branch c so here you can see that from multiple excel file data will be transferred into sql server through the ssis after need to make sure you have go to collection part and in collection part we need to first check directory user file directory then after file directory you have a variable mapping where you define the user excel file path index sheet that is main thing thanks for watching my youtube videos if you want to more videos please subscribe my youtube channel